Hey everyone, the 6.5 is on the road here at IBM Think 2025 in Boston, Massachusetts. It's a dreary day, it's a little bit rainy here, but that's not uncommon here in the Northeast, but it's been super busy and active when it comes to all things technology and AI. Now I'm watching the roads, they're a little bit damp, just like they were in Miami this last week during the F1 Grand Prix down there in Miami. And we're gonna take that topic from Miami to Boston as we have the Ferrari team here, who we, you know, has a partnership with IBM. So I'm really excited to have this conversation today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about fan experience, we're gonna talk about data, and I'm gonna have the chance to talk to Stefan Pallard with Ferrari, leads the fan experience uh, nice to meet for you. Ferrari. Welcome to the show, great to be here with you. Thank you very much for having me here. So a big theme here at IBM Think is data. Of course. And so you as, you know, helping to drive the fan experience, I mean, you have to be thinking constantly about using data, the applications, tracking the fans, tracking what they're interested in. Talk a little bit about how the yeah. data utilization is evolving. Uh, so my role is uh, fan engagement. Uh, so the, the importance of data for fan engagement, uh, I see two main, two main points. Uh, first point is uh, uh, translating all the data we receive from track, from the car, into uh, a, a, a narrative that could be understandable and relevant for the fans, because of course all those uh, data coming from the car might be difficult to be understood for our fans, so what we're, we are trying to build with IBM is uh, turning those data into insight, into like a, a relevant narrative that is understandable and relevant for different segments of people. This is point number one. And point number two, I would say, um, we're trying to, to, to get to know our fans better, no? Uh, so gathering fans data in order to provide them a more personalized and relevant experience at the end of the day. Yeah, so that, that sort of leads me nicely into where I was gonna go with this, with, with, with AI specifically, right? Because, you know, data has been around a long time. Um, but the way data can be leveraged, utilized. In the opening keynote, Arvind talked about 99% of enterprise data uh, still really hasn't been applied to AI yet. And so some of the data you have, you know, comes from public domain, it's from social platforms, mm -hmm. but you also have built the fan experience, the app experience, the fan engagement tools, which is providing you a whole new look into what the Ferrari fan base that you're responsible for uh, is interested in. So what are you sort of seeing in terms of the role of AI and how do you see kind of AI evolving to make your your work It is more really, really an exciting time, no? Uh, for, for AI in coming into sports and coming into Ferrari experience uh, because uh, before my arrival, so uh, since one year ago, we were not using AI to, to provide, any, provide any kind of uh, fun experience. Now with IBM, we're building uh, these first steps are, are uh, into content generation. So of course, content is king when, when it comes to fans and um, Watson X AI is helping us producing more content, personalized content in a faster way in order to, of course, uh, provide a better experience to our fans. But it's just a starting point. Uh, we're working on, um, a lot on new interactive features. So the idea next step is trying to uh, not just providing content, but provide interactive experience built by AI. Uh, and personalized. So you come into the app and you get an experience that is different than mine with and personalized. So you're able to interact. Yeah, it seems like with AI, you know, we've seen some of the progress with things like being on board with your favorite driver, uh, being able to track, because, you know, throughout the course of the race, if you're watching it on TV and they do a great job, but you, you know, you're like, well, I want to see the battle that, that my favorite driver is having. Um, and of course, TV can only track so many things at once and it has to kind of manage the whole race through the applications, you can get those experiences. And then of course, kind of seeing real-time streams, seeing where they're at on the track, you know, uh, who, you know, the, maybe two drivers you like, comparing them head to head. There's all kinds of really great things yeah. that, that you can do. Let's talk about the IBM partnership though. Mm -hmm. Big announcement this year, adding the logo right there prominently, <laughs> looks good on the shirt. Um, let's talk a little bit about what, you know, because when teams like Ferrari, um, they have more than enough options of of course. who wants to sponsor them. It's not just who's willing to pay you. It's it's always about fit. And so when they choose a certain technology partner and say we're going to put the badge on the on the wing of the car, on the halo, or wherever it is, on the shirts, on the on the on the uniform for the driver, um, there's a lot that goes into it. What does the partnership with IBM look like? How are you uh, using IBM's technology? Of course. So uh, as you as you said, we have been talking with different possible partners to to build a fun engagement power powered by AI. Uh, then uh, we we got to sign the IBM partnership. I think 
first thing, like from a higher partnership level, is like common values. So we share like innovation values, strive to, to improve. Um, then when it comes to fun engagement, uh, powered by AI, uh, I would say the three key words were uh, experience, trust and security. So we were looking for a partner that has experience in the sports field and IBM, uh, yeah. uh, of course, uh, working with Wimbledon, with, with, with US Open, yeah. with Agatha Master. So we're already at proven uh, and a proven experience building like relevant fun experience. Uh, then, of course, security um, and trust, uh, because, of course, uh, uh, our most important asset in Ferrari is our brand. So whenever we, we provide uh, uh, an experience to our fans, they are, uh, our brand is exposed. So we, we really wanted to choose a partner that uh, uh, was, I mean, we, we, we can trust. So, yeah, I, th I think that's a big thing. I mean, we talk a lot about the data, we talk a lot about the tools. You know, as I was observing how IBM built its enterprise AI platform, it was very focused on some things that maybe some of the bigger tech companies aren't as focused on, like for instance, um, you know, the governance of the data, right? So the data you have is very, it's unique, it's proprietary. Your fans want to feel trusted, especially you being uh, European based in Italy. Mm -hmm. Europe is extremely focused on of making course. sure that people's individual data is protected. You, of course, want to be a company that has the ethos, that has that kind of fundamental belief, and it seems IBM would really align very well on that trust and security side. Security. Definitely security is key. So to, to, in two ways, the one you said, so let's say user's data, so protecting user data, but moreover like protecting Ferrari data, because as Fred was saying, uh, we're feeding uh, our app with all the telemetry data, weather data and stuff. Uh, some of them are very confidential. So the way IBM uh, manage them, uh, it's crucial for us. And so be sure that those data doesn't flow anywhere else and uh, they are secure. It's, it's, it's the most important stuff. Yeah, I think it's a very good fit from my viewpoint. Um, so it'll be great to watch kind of how the partnership evolves and you know how, again, some of these technologies can, can also be on the fan experience, and I know that's your domain, <laughs> but really also optimizing the, the cars because you know, some of the fan yeah. experience has really been so closely tied to what data has done, what all the access to sport has provided and how fans can get a next level. I don't think even five years ago fans understood to the extreme that you do today, everything from the dynamics of the wing to the you know the exact degradation of the tires to you know um, how much fuel load yeah. that a car carries, and I think now fans really know all that. So fans have become much more involved in the kind of the process of being able to understand like why they pick those tires. Yeah, you know, yeah, you'll yeah. see twenty cars on the grid, you see sixteen on one and four. What what is the other four? And fans have become super connected and understanding, and I think part of what you can now do and, is... And they are more and more demanding. Uh, they're, they're asking for more data, for more content, for more data-related content, and being able to... And they're, they're asking us questions, uh, and so we have to be able to, to provide answers and be able to, to tell, tell th those sto data-driven stories to them. So is, is generative AI something that you're yeah. thinking about? Is that changing at all how you're thinking about Th That's how, we, how we're starting. So uh, in the new app we've just launched, uh, there's uh, an AI power race summary. So basically how it works, just a few minutes after the race, all data uh, coming from telemetry, weather, uh, results uh, are, are managed by, by, by IBM and an AI generated summary. Uh, and we get this AI generated summary, we just check if everything is fine and a few minutes after the race is published on, on our app. Have you had the chance to drive one of the cars yet? No, not really, just the no. simulator. Have you driven the simulator? Have you driven the simulator without all the the you know special modes because I've driven a, a simulator in one of the paddocks before. Okay. But they they generally tune it for like us normal people. Yeah, no, no. I've it, just drive. I've just drove. I mean, I mean, I'm not a driver, so yeah, I've just no, drove it like I just, a, I a nor, normal mode. But it's quite tough. I was I was not expecting this. I mean, I, I'm the first time I, I jumped into the simulator. I was thinking, okay, it's like a a, a video game. No, a fun video game. No, it's really really difficult. Like, a, but my first lap was like just about. Going yeah, out just trying to keep track. the car on the road. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. But I mean, that's kind of one of those great examples of where technology has become accessible. Fans now get to contribute. They get to feel like they be, they they get behind the wheel, um, and they become so much more intimate to the sport. So um, maybe just with the last few minutes we have left here, kind of, what if anything do you sort of see evolving uh, in terms of the fan you know experience? What are some of the big goals that you have 
to connect more deeply, to take that scuderia and, 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 and make them much closer and keep the fans and not let any defectors go off to any other team? And what are some of the things you think you can do? So, uh, when I joined Ferrari, so and my biggest challenge is really turning uh, our digital fan experience from an editorial experience. So, the experience we, we were having one year ago was like a flow of news, basically, in our app. So, turning this editorial with a passive fan consumption of content into an interactive experience. So, having fans being able to interact with our app, doing things. Uh, so, the three keywords I would say uh, for uh, my, my goal in evolving uh, Ferrari, Scuderia Ferrari fan experience is interactivity, personalization, because like one year ago, every fan were getting the same content, the same experience. So, our next level of evolution is trying to provide every fan a different content and different experience. So, having an algorithm that uh, if you like, uh, I don't know, Lewis more than Charles, you get more Lewis content. Um, and of course, the third big challenge for us is trying to gather fan data. Uh, and being able to, to use uh, and to create more personalized experience. Well, that's a great way to lead this, Stefan. <laughs> I really appreciate you spending some time. It sounds like it's an exciting time to be it a is. Ferrari fan, an exciting time for F1. It continues to grow in popularity around the world. Um, I look forward to kind of continuing to watch your journey, watch the partnership between Ferrari and IBM, and I just want to say thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And thank you so much, everyone out there. This is the 6.5. We are on the road at IBM Think 2025 in Boston, Massachusetts. Hit subscribe, be part of our community, join us for all of our coverage here at IBM Think and of course all of the 6.5 coverage across the tech space. For this episode, for me, for all of you out there, it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you later.